Five Country Close Up for three thirteen eighty. They usually say, well, your work is really valuable, but that doesn't happen in our community. They don't realize that, you know, that their neighbor could be having um, a problem in their um, domestic situation. It's Chuck Wood tonight, and I'll stack it outside the out basement window and shoot it down, the kids and mom stack it up, and we're ready for another two, three weeks. Doctors, lawyers, uh, carpet sweepers, uh, there might be janitors, or anybody that's interested in square dancing can do it, if they'll just take some lessons. I'm Twyla Young, and this is Five Country Close-Up. Tonight, we'll pay a visit to the state square dance convention, and we'll find out why so many people are interested in heating their homes with wood. But first, a problem that is of concern to a growing number of people. Rape, sexual abuse, family violence, these are as old as society itself. But the last few years have seen many changes in the way these problems are looked at and the way they're dealt with. As a result, a number of groups have been organized to help both victims and abusers. But these groups, like the rest of us, are suffering the effects of inflation. You've probably been to many fundraising bake sales. Well, this bluegrass festival at an Ames night spot was organized with the same thought in mind, to raise money. The group, the Story County Sexual Assault Care Center and Battered Women's Project. The object, to raise money that will help keep the center going for another year. The center operates out of a modest house near Iowa State University. Aside from a director and a program coordinator, it is staffed almost entirely by volunteers. In fact, volunteers provide most of the center's crisis intervention service. That means if you've been raped, sexually abused, or battered, you can call the 24-hour number and there will be someone on the other end of the line trained to listen to you and to help you. But the center's involvement does not end there. We provide services that no other agency does. We provide advocacy and that our volunteers don't simply do in the office crisis intervention or over the phone listening. But when someone comes to us and needs something, if they want us to, we go with them to help them uh, make clear what their needs are to make sure that they're not getting a runaround. Now an example of that might be a, a rape victim who would want some assistance when approaching the police or... That's right. And we have good liaison, a good relationship. 